Hello, many of you who know me, who have been watching my videos for any length of time, know that I would rather be out in the woods. But we're in the shop today, and it's because we're doing a video on the, my most requested ever subject, and that is, how did I make my flute out of a PVC plumbing pipe? Let's get started. All right, we're using uh, Schedule 40 three-quarter inch PVC plumbing pipe. We will cut off a piece 18 inches long to start with. Okay, we are gonna, uh, after you cut off your piece, you'll wanna make a straight line on this. So I'm using a piece of plywood here to mark a straight line. This will now be our center line where we're going to line up all the holes and everything on it. Okay, now uh, that we've got our center line, we're going to make a mark inch to inch and seven eighths right on the center line. Two, three and a half inches right on the center line. All right, this is where the, s the sound will be generated, right in here. Okay, what we're doing here is I have this clamped in my, my drill press vise, and I'm using a Forstner bit here. I ground off the center of the Forstner bit so that it's flush, uh, above flush. And we're adjusting the table of the drill press to where it will uh, begin taking off some of this uh, the top of the PVC flute. Just like that until you have uh, a little less than a half inch across here say like seven sixteenths uh, that will be again our sound area you want to do that right on the center line that you can see here now I did use a Forstner bit and as you can see I took the little uh, the middle point the center point that was located right here I took that off okay but uh, you don't need to use something like this uh, I use it because it does such a uh, leaves it so precisely flat uh, but you could use something like a uh, a flat file like this Okay, and if you're real careful, you could uh, use this to accomplish the same thing if you already have one. Now, the area that we flattened out with the Forstner bit, uh, I went ahead and I took a metal file and I filed out just about all of the lines out of it, filed it smooth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mark it at two and a quarter and three inches okay this is where we're going to drill our hole for the air to come up out of the mouthpiece and this one will be where we drill the hole for the air to go in and make the sound now I drilled, drilled a three sixteenths inch hole here and here and I marked the outsides of the that drill hole and now we're gonna have to use a file and we're gonna make this 
uh, three-eighths of an inch across and not to exceed three-sixteenths this way and this way. Both of these will be three-eighths of an inch across. Now the reason why uh, that seems to be optimal. Three-eighths is half of three-quarters of an inch. The interior of the pipe is three-quarters of an inch and you want the, your your sound hole and your air supply hole to be approximately half. Uh, half the diameter of your uh, air chamber. Alright, now we've got both holes, both the air supply hole and the sound hole, uh, to 3 sixteenths by uh, 3 eighths. 3 sixteenths by 3 eighths. Now what we got to do is carefully go in and begin filing down the underneath of this one uh, so that the air coming up out of here will go across a sharp edge here and make the sound. Okay, hopefully you can see here that this is still uh, the original depth, you know, minus the flat top here, of course, and that this is much sharper here. Okay, you want to sharpen it all approximately a 45 degree angle. Now, the next step Now, my wife and I, we don't drink alcohol, but we do have access to these corks uh, from wine bottles. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to, uh, they fit just right in this three quarter inch PVC pipe. So you need to measure between here and here and cut this off to that uh, length and this is what you end up with. Now you shove that in all the way in to where it lines up. <clears throat> okay, we're going to use a, a wood dowel here. You want it to line up just exactly in between the holes there. All right, we've got that cork placed right between the two holes here. So now when a person blows in the end, air will come out here. It'll go underneath the the bird or uh, some people call it a fetish and be routed to flow over the top of this hole here and create the sound. So now let's make the fetish. I'll show you or the bird. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. All right, I have a piece of one by cedar and I just marked out the shape that I wanted to use and I cut it out and then sanded it down all around to where it'll fit on here and go over this hole and end just at the edge of this hole right here. Now, for the underside of the bird, we carved out a little, little air channel there. It goes on just like this. Okay, goes right there. That will channel the air up out of here, through here, and across the top of the sound hole. How we carved this channel was we marked out the width here that the channel needed to be and we used a chisel, a small chisel to uh, just tap it real careful, real lightly with a small hammer and chiseled it out, worked it all out and then once we had it chiseled out then we filed it down, smoothed it out. It is time to see if this will play a note. Okay, here we go. Uh, I will just lay this on top of the, the flute and hold it there for now. Uh, just so we can see. 
now. Uh, I hope that you can see the little trough right underneath there where the air travels out and across the sound hole. Sounds good. All right, at this point, it's not tuned. So we're gonna need to tune it, and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, you're looking at my tablet here, my 10-inch Android tablet, and we have a program called G-Strings. Okay, and we're gonna open that up. Okay, now you can see G-Strings. Uh, you see the the meter here that measures the the sound okay let's set this we want this to be a G okay so we're gonna slide the scale here to where it's a G okay let's ask it for the sound G okay that gives us the sound G let's try out the flute So did you hear the difference? So we're going to ask it to tune it. Uh, so we click on tune. So it's low, okay? Which means the flute is too long. We're going to have to shorten it. Now when shortening this, uh, okay, here is the end where we blow on, right here, okay? Uh, you want to shorten the far end. Now, when you're uh, tuning it, <coughs> you want to take off just like an eighth of an inch at a time until you get real close and then take off even less you don't want to take off too much it's easier to take off too little and be able to keep cutting it than to take off too much because once you take off too much you're you've messed it up and you got to start all over make another flute well that's real close so we're going to call that good and now we'll start in putting in the sound holes. Okay, since we're making a Native American style flute, we're going to go to NA Flutomat, Native American flute design tool on the web. Okay, once you get there, then scroll down and fill out all the pertinent fields. Uh, we won't discuss that in this video. Uh, we'll leave that for you to figure out. And once you get there, it will, uh, if you fill in all the right information, it will give you the whole placement here. Uh, it'll tell you how many inches up from the bottom each hole is. Over here in this column, you'll see uh, how far apart each hole is from its adjacent hole and you'll see how far they are up the up the flute so go ahead and mark them out if you don't like the spacing then uh before you start drilling go ahead and play around with the spacing change it a little bit uh see if you can't get the spacing closer to the way you want it but uh over here your whole diameter Watch that your holes don't get too big. Um, and, uh, of course, you'll need to stay on the note. So, uh, you know, you can have the same note and move up or down the flute, but that will affect the size of your hole. 
you can you can move up the flute and then drill a different sized hole to achieve to achieve the same note if that makes sense so go ahead and play around with it a little bit and get it to your liking okay we've got all the holes drilled what I did here was I went through the list of the hole diameters and I see that the smallest hole diameter is 26.26 uh, .26 of an inch uh, that's roughly a quarter inch so I went smaller than that and I drilled all the holes the same size and uh, we are going to tune the bottom hole to this note okay and by doing that what we got to do is we got to drill the hole okay that would be this hole we'll test it and if it's low we'll drill it a little bit bigger if it's low we'll drill a little bit bigger a little bit bigger a little bit bigger till we get real close and then maybe we'll take a a round file and uh, just file it with the round file until we get the note right where we want it and then we go on to the next one okay we've got the the holes all drilled and we've got the got them all drilled to the right size we got them let see they ended up being fairly evenly spaced now uh, I've got them tuned so what we're going to do is watch here uh, I'm going to put it on auto tune and we'll see how close it's tuned watch the key up here and watch the dial also So that's tuned about as close as you can get it. Uh, so now it's all left but just the the cleaning it up and making it look a little nicer. Well there's the completed flute. Let's see what it sounds like. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. You take care.